Okay, let's get a couple things straight right now. First of all, I'm not trying to be a YouTuber. I'm making this video primarily as a video response to videos made by several or multiple people, several videos made by multiple people, particularly YouTuber Black Panther. That's B L A C K P A N T H A A, Black Panther. If you play racing games, you may have heard of him. He is a British YouTuber who primarily plays racing games and games involving cars. And I don't like making, I, I didn't have any other footage to put this to, or at least some general entertainment value. But I decided to put this over footage of me fuck, doing a race in Need for Speed Payback in a fuck, literally just restored race spec Chevrolet C10 pickup, which was, fuck, uh, <laughs> it was like fucking rank 100 and I had no chance of winning this race, but I finished it, so. Um... The point of this video is this. I'm tired of having my gaming experience dictated by other players. What do I mean by that? The vast majority of the player bases of these games, like Need for Speed, are either casuals or somewhere in between casual and high level. Okay? High level players represent a minority. And yet, it's the high-level players that they listen to instead of, you know, the people that make up the actual majority of the player base and therefore the actual majority of the sales. This is bullshit to me for a couple of reasons. Number one, if we don't buy the game, they don't make sh hardly shit in sales. Therefore, the game series doesn't exist. So then... Why the hell aren't we the ones being listened to? Because we are the majority of the reason why this game series still exists after all these years. Need for Speed has been around for a long time. I play The first Need for Speed games were on both PlayStation 1 and PC. That was a long time ago. Okay? Now with other arcade racing games like The Crew and The Crew 2, they're more recent. Although... At least some of the developers in Ivory Tower, who's which is a developer, uh, which is part of Ubisoft, that makes made the crew and make the crew two, actually worked on the Test Drive Unlimited games. Fuck, fuck. Which is how they have experience in the open world arcade racing genre, racing genre. But it's the same issue over there. They're obsessed with listening to people like Black Panther instead of. The actual majority of the player base. Why? Well, see, here's the problem with this. The problem is, is that the vast majority of us aren't professional YouTubers like Black Panther. And therefore, we don't have the time to put into a game that he does. We should not be punished because of that. Everybody, regardless of whether you're... A casual or a high-level player should be able to enjoy the game in their own way. Emphasis on the their own way. If you're going... If... Ghost, which is the current developer, part of EA, of the current developer of the Need for Speed series, and Ivory Tower, again, developer of the crew and the crew 2, are going to continue to make these games. If you're not going... To listen to the actual majority of us, which make up the actual majority of the player base and the actual majority of their sales. If you're going to insist on fucking balancing part of the, even part of the game toward a, a my, if you're going to insist on balancing even part of the game in favor of a minority of the player base, give us the choice of difficulty. And I don't mean by just letting us select difficulty, I mean give us full control of the difficulty. It's done in sports games. Frequently. It's done in Madden. And NBA 2K. And NBA Live. And NHL. And FIFA. It can be done in racing games too. Don't tell me it can't. It is done in racing games. It's done in sims like Project Cars. And Project Cars 2. It can be fucking done in, in arcade racers. Like Need for Speed. And Ivory Tower 2. If you're going to balance even part of the game towards a minority of the player base, then you need to give the player 
full control over the difficulty so that we can fine tune the difficulty to our preference, not fucking somebody else's. I'm tired of having somebody else dictate my game experience, as I said at the beginning of the video. I'm tired of it. And yes, I know this is not the best sound quality. I'm using a Sony Go Wireless set that it's what I have, okay? I'm sorry. I'm tired of having my game experience dictated by somebody else. Period. I want to control my game experience. Give me the ability to fine-tune the fucking game's difficulty and AI to my preference, just like Project Cars and Project Cars 2 do. Give me that. If you're not going to, not going, if you're going to insist, if you're, if you're going to insist on refusing to listen to the actual majority of the people that make up the actual majority of your playbase, I'm sorry for repeating myself, and therefore make up the actual majority of your sales, give us full control over the difficulty. Let us fine tune it with sliders so that we can tune the game to our preference. Ours. Okay? People st The high level players consider Need for Speed Payback trash because everybody can enjoy it. Not just them. And they no, they don't directly say it, but that's exactly what they mean. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. And then you've got some people, and I've... I, go on Google and look at old Reddit posts, as well as new Reddit posts, and and, and posts on other forums. And they fucking tell me that people actually support them listening to fucking selfish assholes like Black Panther. Black Panther looks at things from the perspective of somebody that has... All the time, uh, that has fucking 20 hours a day to fucking put into this game. The vast majority of us have jobs and lives away from home. We don't have that kind of fucking time to put into it. What about us? Why the hell do we not get listeners here? Well, we don't get to take part in the real betas, the ones that can actually, you know, can actually make the developers make actual changes to it. Most of the time, the betas that we get to take part in only come out a month before the fucking game comes out, which we just... That there's a, they're not gonna, which means hardly shit is gonna change about them. The action, the betas that the most of us get to take part in are fucking demos, let's be honest. The actual fucking betas and the alphas, you gotta select few like fucking Black Panther's stupid ass. They get to take part in. Why? What about the fucking rest of us? What about the ones of us that make up the actual majority of the player base and therefore the actual majority of this fucking sale? What the fuck about us? Okay, what about us? Give us full control via difficulty settings and sliders to fucking fine-tune the difficulty in the AI to our preference, just like sim racers like Project Cars 2 do, if they're going to continue to make this series. And while I'm on the subject of AI, no, rubber band AI is not... Something that should be fucking supported. It's lazy fucking bullshit. And all it is is a way for the developer to not have to do their fucking job. If you're not going to take the fucking time or time or make the fucking if you're not gonna take the time or put the time and the fucking effort into actually properly coding proper AI, it would be better if the AI was stupid and easy but fair than to rubber band and cheat. At least to the vast majority of us. Rubber band AI is lazy, cheap fucking bullshit. And to quote Angry Joe, bullshit is not difficulty. It's just bullshit. Period. Period. I mean no disrespect to anybody. Developers, YouTubers, I don't. You don't fucking speak for the rest of us. Stop fucking acting like you do. Ghost, Ivory Tower, stop listening simply solely that. Ghost, Ivory Tower, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Ghost. Ivory Tower. Stop just fucking listening to people, dumb, stupid, selfish assholes like Black Panther. Listen to the fucking rest of us, too. Seriously. Seriously. To the vast majority of the player base of the crew, too, the progression was ruined because people like Black Panther whined about it. Big fucking deal. You might have fucking 10 hours a day to put into a fucking game. The vast majority of us have jobs and lives away from home. We fucking don't. Fuck the fuck off already. Ready. We should fucking be able to enjoy the game in our way too. Period. 
fucking bullshit. I'm tired of it. It's, it's not fucking fair. It's not right, and it's not fucking fair. That your fucking gimmicks, somebody's gimmicks are dictated by somebody else. You want to fucking give the high level players a challenge? Make a separate difficulty or mode for them. That's hard. But balance the fucking rest of the games with the rest of us. That's fair. Okay? Give us difficulty settings and fucking sliders so we can tweak it to our fucking preference. If the high level players want to make a hardcore challenge, they can. If we want to make it so we don't ever lose against the AI, we can. But give us the choice. Okay? Give us the choice. That's all I have to say.